Hey, Chris, what are we making today? Today, we're going to make an antique chipboard frame. Cool. Okay, it's simple. What you'll do is you take a basic, plain chipboard frame. Okay. Okay. And you'll use the Krylon gold marker. Yeah. And you cover the entire chipboard frame with your marker. How long does it take to dry? It takes about a minute or so. Okay. You can touch it. It takes no time. Then what you want to do is, once it's dry, you'll take a sanding sponge okay. or some sort of sander, and you'll lightly sand back your gold. Okay? Yeah. What kind of sanding do you use? I usually use a sanding sponge from the hardware store. Okay. Okay. So then, once you have your sanding done, you will come back, and you can take your Distress Stain. This one I used Broken China. That's pretty. And you just lightly apply it through the whole frame. Okay? Yeah. Let it dry. Then if you want a little bit more hint of color, do the do it again. Okay. Okay, so, so a couple of coats. If you want a heavy color, a couple of coats. If you want a faint, very faint antique look, one coat. Right. Okay. Okay. So really that's it. It oh. just gives it a really pretty antique look. Yeah, I like that. So did you use any other colors? Yeah, here's one that I used, the peeled peeled paint. Yeah, I like that. It's pretty. And then here I took Vintage Photo. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah, too. I like it a lot. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these are really easy. Do a few at a time. Then you can take and put them in a project. Oh, yeah. So here is one that we did a pin it with. Okay. Yeah, I love that. It's very pretty. Collaged. Put a photo in there. Okay, it looks like you did a couple of coats on that particular frame. Yes, I did. Yes, and actually, that's not a photo. That's oh, a stamp. Oh, you're exactly right. Mm -hmm. That's one of our photo stamps. So anyway, fun. Yeah, it's great. Okay, is that it? That's it. It's a wrap.